Hey, beautiful souls. This is great that you're with me here. I've got the beach behind me, the Mediterranean Sea, and yeah, I don't know about you, but the, for me, the ocean always calms me, always gets me grounded, always gets me in that element of water and free flow, and I absolutely love it, which is great because today I wanted to talk to you about your three ways to awaken your kundalini. Now, if you know what the kundalini is, then good for you. You're one step ahead of the game. You're into the esoteric. You're mystic. You're, one of, you're on my tribe. That's really cool. If you don't yet know what the kundalini is, uh, it's this ancient energy secret. Uh, so you've heard of the chakras. You've heard of the energy centers. And every one of our esoteric, ancient, mystical schools of thought, the mystery schools, has talked about when you balance your energy centers, there becomes this serpentine snake that is able to channel up and come up to and open up this flood floodgate of energy through your body and you know me i always love to incorporate that whole concept of the ancient secrets with modern science and so today we know that it's a really free-flowing endocrinal system that we've got energy just coming out of everywhere uh we've got you know where our adrenals are aligned our cortisol is aligned you know our, our insulin is all in in line everything is just in check so that we can have a really vibrant and healthy and uh, life that's full of lusciousness and juju and sweet juicy stuff all scientific words right there so today I'm going to talk to you about three ways to open up your kundalini or have a kundalini awakening so number one of the three ways to open up and invite your kundalini in actually that's what it is number one secret is invite your kundalini in Kundalini is kind of like having an orgasm. You've got, and it's great that the helicopter is going over me right now because that's really telling what kind of secrecy comes along with this. It's, you've got to give it permission. You've got to kind of loosen up. You can't, you know, the minute that you try to grasp onto it, it's like water, it's going to flow, it's going to go. What you need to do is just invite it in. Give it permission to come in. Don't get scared, you know, if you've heard of anyone else who's gone to some retreat or yoga class that's opened up their kundalini and had a an awakening that they weren't ready for well that's because they've tried to force it or that's because they haven't been ready for it so really give yourself permission that might take a few years it might take months it might take weeks uh, but what you don't want is a spontaneous kundalini awakening you want to really prepare for it. give it permission set the intention that you're gonna have it uh, permission to give yourself that primal energy it might not look clean and crisp and beautifully wrapped. It might look messy and spontaneous and full of uh, unexpected juiciness, but give yourself permission. You can't get scared of that and, and shy away from that and block up because the blocking up isn't going to allow the, for that free flow of energy. The second secret or uh, way of bringing in and opening up that kundalini energy is uh, kundalini eating. And I'm going to cover this a lot more in the coming weeks because I've been doing a lot of research around endocrinal system and endocrinal glands. And there it has been a lot of scientific research that has come into the general understanding of the last 100 years, over 50 years, which really vilifies some kinds of food and not others. And therefore, we're not getting nutritionally supported in our cellular level. Our telomeres cannot lengthen because we're giving them one kind of food over other kinds of food and really nutritionally balancing so that we have our telomeres lengthened, our mitochondria, you know, down to our cellular level, we start to respond to the earth that's around us. More on that a little bit later. And the third way, and really the primary way of opening up the Kundalini is through movement. Shaking, vibrating, stomping. The Kundalini is a primal energy, so it needs primal kind of movement. So if you can think of like that dirtiest dancing or that greatest kind of vibration that you can feel connected to the earth, that's a great way to open up that Kundalini, really channel up that energy, become a free force and uh, open up and really enjoy that beautiful Kundalini energy that you have access to, that you can have permission to have. Now, I want to ask you, put in the comments or private message me. I love having these conversations. Have you ever had a Kundalini awakening? How was it for you? Have you heard of anyone else who's had a Kundalini awakening? Have you heard some horror stories around it? I'd love to hear any of your experiences around that. I'm looking forward to hearing you. Until next time, have a great time, beautiful souls.